Hi, welcome to a video about charts in JavaFX. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do different kinds of charts uh, when working with charts in JavaFX. So it can be pretty cool to visualize something using charts. So oftentimes we have the need for that in our programs to let the user know um, what the data looks like when it's visualized. So let's try to run. I just created a simple program and there is no code here yet. Just a simple hello world application. Um, I created an anchor pane uh, with the height of 800 and preferred width of 1024. So I'll just do this small change here. That I won't set the size of the window when the program opens. And I'll change this from Hello World to JavaFX Charts Examples. Something like that. And run it again. And I have a nice um, basis for creating room for some charts. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first one on my list here, I'm going to start with the line chart. So line chart is just a simple chart where we have a line going, for example, up or down or whatever. So where it actually draws a line between each data point and that creates a line chart. So let's try to do that first. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the chart. So let's try to do that. We can go into Scene Builder or we can do it manually. So let's go into Scene Builder for now. Open in Scene Builder. And look at, I already searched for chart over here or char. So I get area chart, bar chart, bubble chart. Uh, line chart, pie chart, scatter chart, stacked area chart, stacked bar chart. So the one we are looking for here is called line chart. So I'll drag that in here and I want to make it nice and, and big. So like this. So in order for this to work with this, of course, I need to have an FX ID on this. So I'll just call it chart. So now I have my chart in here. Um, I'll also put a button in here. I don't know if we need that. We could use the initialize method, but let's go for a button for now. Nice button here. Wide one like that. And for this button, I'm thinking let's call it draw chart. And then I want an action event on that so that when I click that, something happens. Draw chart. I'll call that on action. Click here, save everything. And now I have a chart and I have a button. I can close, close this down and I'll try to run that just to, oh, I forgot I need to, of course, when I create an on action, it needs to find that method in the controller and I didn't create that yet. So I'll just create the method in the controller like that. And then we should be able to see the things running. Yes. So the next thing is that when I click the button, I wanted to actually put some data into this. So what do we need in order to do that? So first off, of course, we need to be able to access the, the chart. So now I'm doing it manually, but um, let's see here. So it's called a line chart. And we're going to say chart equals, no just like that. And we need to make this private in order for that to inject. And we need to put a something here, like we could put a number here. So click 
number and number like that so now we should inject because i called it this is the fx id for the chart it should be injected when i run the program so now when i click the button um i need to do something so the first thing we need to do is we need to define our axes here and because these are both numbers we could also use like string and number um, x and y axis so let's go for um, a number axis so a number axis we need to define that with a name so let's call it x axis equals new number axis and then another number axis and call this y axis equals new number axis like that so now we have two new um, axes so let's try to add that to the to the chart so we're going to say chart uh, and then so i might have uh, gotten ahead of myself here um so maybe instead of the new number axis let's just get the one from the line chart i just forgot we injected it so let's say get the x-axis from the let's see okay let's fix that afterwards chart get y-axis and like this import so we'll do it like this instead okay so now we have the two different axes here now we can try to define some some data as well so let's create some some data so we're going to say x y x y chart and then we're going to say we're going to have a number and number and then we'll call it series equals new x y chart wow sorry about that x y chart series like that okay and then we need to put in here number and number like that so i got a problem here That's because I forgot the series here like that. So now I have my X, Y chart series. So what we need to do is then we need to put some, some data into that series. So first off there is, you can name a series. So let's put something like set name. We could put something like, I don't know, drinks sold or something like that. And then we need to uh, add some data into that. So we are then going to say series dot get data and then dot add. And then we're going to say new x y chart data 
and then we need to put in the data for the first uh, data point. So let's say that on the first, we sold 354 drinks. Let's call this drink sold in January. And then we can do the same thing here some more times. Let's say on the 2nd of January, we sold uh, 234. Like that. So now we have some data points here. So then we want to add this uh, data to to the to the line chart. So what we're going to do, we're going to say chart, and then we're going to say get data, and then we're going to say add, and then we put series here. And that means we put our first data series into the chart. And that should basically be it. So um, these are just for uh, reference for the X and Y axis because we can do like X axis set name, sorry, set label, it's called. And then we can do, this is, uh, the day of the month. And then for the y-axis, we can do the same. Set label, this is the sold drinks. Maybe it should be drinks sold, drinks sold like that. And now we can run the program and let's see what happens. So I have to click the button because I put it on the button click and we have a crash. So let me just look into that. So I think maybe the problem has to do with the fact that I, I kind of uses the same X value here. So that will be problematic. I'm trying to draw a line because then we have the same. Well, let's try that first. Nope. Let's try something else then. So something fishy is going on here. If we look down here, there's actually none of my code that's being run. So it can't really be in here that there's a problem. So there must be a problem in the FXML file. So let's go in here and we can see we have the X axis and the Y axis defined. So that's not the problem. But the problem is that it says category axis here. So that means it's, it should be a string. And so it's expecting that. And I defined it as a number axis. So the problem then happens in here where I try to get the X axis as a number axis when it's really a category axis, but this isn't a very helpful comment. So, or a very helpful stack trace, but I think I figured it out like that. So let's try it again. And one thing you should notice is the real cool animation it does when you update the charts like that. So, um, of course, now I'm just adding the same data over and over and over again. So, so you could randomize something like you could say random from Java util, and I'm not providing any. And then for the Y value, we're going to say r dot next int and then we're putting a bound on that so let's say it should be within 500 and then 
it should be at least 150. So maybe we'll go 350 here. So it will go from 150 to 500. And we can do that somewhat differently here. We're going to say from I until, let's just do 10. Put the series in here and remove this part and then put I here instead. And there's actually 12 months. So let's go from like, like that, from one to 12. So we get a chart with the different months here. Maybe we should have eliminated zero, but we have the different, oh yeah, it was days. Okay. I thought it was month for a second. I defined it at the S days here. So it could be month here instead. So yeah, so it's in January. So there should be like 31 days in here. Let's go. But I just wanted to show that it automatically creates this data. And if I do another one, it will automatically color it differently. Of course, you can you can control this if you want. But, but I think it's pretty cool with these animations. And I tried it also on the mobile. You, you can convert uh, any JavaFX application into a mobile application and run it on your... Uh, I tried it on my Android phone. No problems. So, yeah bit of a spaghetti here. Okay, so that was the uh, line charts. So you should be careful with the axes. That's sometimes the problem when you create things in Scene Builder. Uh, if you're not careful, you end out with uh, problems like, like the one I had there. So that's an example with the, with the uh, line chart. So I'll make another video for the next one. So the next one is the area chart.